What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm laughing, Cody. This is Craig 19 T20 Veterans League 2021 game number 17. It's Melbourne Stars taking on Wellington Firebirds. First up in round five, the coach for Melbourne uh, Stars is Kieran, and the coach for Wellington Fire, uh, Firebirds is Putov. If you're not familiar, a familiar? What? If you're not a chameleon, uh, then hit that like button. Anyways, uh, if you're not familiar with the rules of the league, uh, check out the description. I have put a little summary of the rules. Also, click on the eye icon in the top right corner. I'll take you to the video, a very short video, a minute and a half long video, I think it is, um, explaining the rules and all the teams and everything with the coaches' names and all that. Um, and yeah. If you want to participate in future leagues, if I do any, um, I'm not planning on doing many. I'm going to be very honest, but I will be planning. Well, I am planning on doing a couple more. If you want to participate in those, become a channel member. That's the surest way of getting into it. Also, follow me on my social medias. Do drop a like at the subscribe button, all that good stuff. And now let's get into the game. Doing Sports Club is where this game is going to take place. There are the two lineups. If you are someone who wants to see career mode, by the way, I have started the boss career mode. It's Chris Gale career mode. I've done many of the career modes as well. My personal career mode, a lot of people are asking for a career mode about me, you know? Laughing Coyote or Afan, that's my real name. Uh, I'll be starting that soon as well, or restarting it rather. So yeah, there's a lot to see. But Virat have won the toss, chosen to have ball first. It'll be mid stock. To open a bowling for Wellington, and it's Colin Munro, the Kiwi, and Aussie to face off. Here we go. Ooh, great start for Starkey boy. Yes. Next hit over the keeper it goes, and four runs. Colin Munro collects. I don't think he'll mind much. Yes. Oh, that's a solid hit. That's over where Meron would have been. But there is no Meron, so it's over no one, let's be honest. And onto the rope for four runs it goes. Oh, that's a solid hit between the two fielders over the inner circle for extra comfort. Matthew Wade smashes the other Aussie mid-stark. Ravi Ashwin has been dispatched as well. That's gone four runs. Colin Munro will move on to 15 of 12 deliveries. The fielder there did not want to give up that chase, did he? Oh, that's a solid hit. That's a very good footwork as well. Foot placement. Oh, lovely. I like the uh, aggressive uh, approach Colin Munro is taking. Not so much Matthew Wade, though. a solid hit into extra cover that'll be four more runs from Colin Munro Munro is doing really well at the moment moves on to 34 of 23 Ashwin not too happy Stephen Finn goes short again he's uh, got a top edge well he got a nick behind the sticks like that earlier as well and that's gone for four as well it's just not his day it's just not Finney's day Everything he does backfires, even when he's successful with it, it somehow finds an angle to backfire. Yep. Split into the gap, he just needs one more run, I think he's gonna get two there. And that'll complete his half-ton, Colin Munro, raise your bat, make. He's now he's nicked that one, but he's so lucky he's found the middle of the two fielders. Yeah. Has he? No, he's yeah. not. That's the end of Wade. He wasn't looking too comfortable, as you can see, 22 of 29. It's not a great innings there, and Finney's uh, got him finally. He's getting a bit desperate. That's why he had to throw his bat at that one. That was a wide Yorker, which can be quite a good delivery. And that's Hafiz there taking a catch, a comfortable one in the end. Gone for 22 of 29, not a great start for Matthew Wade here. And uh, 
Melbourne will be hoping he can uh, bounce back. That's a very good shot from Smudge. Over cover he goes, the skipper. First delivery gets four runs. Colin Monroe is like a lass, I get some help. Solid into extra cover, four runs. Don't bother, don't bother. That's very smart cricket, by the way. Singles and then a boundary. Yep, yep. Catch it. Like glance at her, not much is going to happen there. Maybe a run out, maybe a run out, maybe a run out, run out, son. I think he's gone. Can't really see it, but I think he's gone. It's a pretty close one, but yeah, it's out and about. Smudger, gun for 18. Ross Taylor, next man in. Ooh, ho, 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 that's turned. That's turned ever so sharply. Oh, it was always gonna take some special to dismiss the special, special Colin Munro. 75, I think he scored. Yeah, 75 of 63. And boy, was that some special oh, from Ravi Ashwin. He's given that one a right tweak. I might as well see him next man in. That's a solid hit straight down the ground. They've got a fielder there. Oh, one bounce and only one run. Full toss. Smash that one down the ground. I think he's beaten the fielder. Yes, he has. That's gone four runs. Imad Wasim gets his first boundary of the day. Straight to cover fielder. That's just a dot. Not a great total. 135, so 136 is going to be the, to uh, the target. That's not a very impressive, other than um, Colin Monroe. Nobody did anything. I mean, Colin Monroe alone have scored more runs than the rest of the team combined. So uh, it's not a great look for uh, Melbourne Stars. But Shikhar Levin and Mohamed Hafiz. Mohamed Hafiz is in the form of his life. He's played amazingly well in the last, I would say, 18 months on international level. And now he's doing really well on, uh, on the domestic level in the PSL as well for Lahore Galanders. But here we go, Trent Bowl to open a bowling. Shikhar Levin gets an inside edge. And off the mark he is, Shikhar. Shikhar was pretty good in the IPL recently as well. That's a very good shot out of the gap that'll be four. That's two boundaries up for that one already. Yep. It's another boundary. Boundary galows at the moment. He's found the gap, that'll be four. Free hit, yeah. These two are uh, playing with the bowlers at the moment. And for around the wicket to a fees, a fees, lovely shot. Man, he's just. I don't know what's happened to him. He's just turned it on. He is on another level at the moment. Oh, there he goes. There's plenty more where that came from. The Indo Park partnership is working out pretty well at the moment. Flicks it out of the gap, four runs. So that's 23 of just 10 deliveries from out of ease. Fantastic. Yep. Solid, very solid. Goes into extra cover from out of ease. That's 27 runs. He's on now of just 13 deliveries. Oh, wind swing in Yorker from Timothy Southey dismissing Shikhar Dhawan and he's gone boom two wickets out Shikhar gone for 11 of 15 he was getting a bit too comfortable because if he's at the other end was just going berserk uh, Virat Kohli next man in 
Crowley takes him on first delivery, bang, four runs. Their player model models look quite similar, don't they, Verratz and uh, Hafiz's. I think it's the beard that makes them look similar. Oh, gets a thick outside edge. It's gone between the wicket keeper and I think that's a third slip. I'm not entirely sure though. Oh, what a hit. That's straight over the ball, is it? That's a skyer. He hasn't got too much on it, but uh, he's got enough on it to uh, get a four. And he will get a four. Nice yes. flick that one into the cow corner. The rat gets four runs just. He took that one, hooked it very well into the gap, that'll be four, yep, there it goes. Oh, that's straight on, I think that might be the end of VK, it is the end of VK, he's gone. Virat Kohli, the skipper, is no more Hafiz. I think we'll just tell him that's pretty dead on, there's no need to review that, let's not waste time, let's move on. As reviewing that is not going to achieve anything. Suresh Raina comes in next. Yep. That's a solid hit over backwards point. 41 Hafiz enters now of just 23 deliveries. Yep. There he goes again. What a hit. That'll be four more. 45 of 24. Hafiz is on another level. And there he goes again, this time over point. It's much closer to the fielder on the road, but he's not going to stop it. Eat. That's a solid hit from Suresh. And that'll be four runs as well. Wellington in firm control of this game. Hafiz just needs one run. He's going to collect it right there. And this is what happens when Pakistan and India comes together, play together as one. Swept that one away. They're going to push for second. I don't think that was a great idea. Nope. That's the end of Suresh Reiner. Suresh was the one who wanted that run, and he's the one who's lost his wicket. They're both quite old, you know. I mean, Hafiz, what? He's like 40 or something. Suresh is quite old as well. I mean, they're not as quick as they once were. I mean, they're pretty quick, but not as quick as they once were. Suresh going for eight. It happens. It happens. But they are in control of the game though. Mushfiqur Rahim. There is the third component into the... <laughs> it's a lovely shot from Hafiz. He's not stopping. He's not done yet. He knows. Ah, good shot over. Square leg. That'll be another boundary. 59. Subcontinent coming together, Bangladesh, Pakistan, and India. Yep. Ah, Hafiz. He's in a hurry. Yep. Rahim gets a thick edge, not pretty, but he'll pick up his first runs off his first delivery and his first boundary. Oh, gone. Finally, Hafiz has yes. been dismissed. Ishan Sharma it is. He's got him slide outside edge. A lovely catch by Matthew Wade. He wasn't too great with a bat and that's why they're in this sort of a situation right now. Not the only reason, not one of them. Yeah. Oh, too full, too wide, fielder there. Trap was there, but it's not worked completely. Oh, oh, he did not need to dive. Why did he dive? I think yeah. he made it back and then he dived and because of that, he was in the air and I think he's gone. Well, no, I don't think he's gone, he's gone. Yeah, look, he... Oh, what? Oh, you stupid idiot. He had made it back. Look at that. 
And then he... Oh, come on. Kieran Pollard's gone for two of two. Erfan Patan, next batsman in. Oh, that's straight on. Is the game on? I think so. That's another wicket. Melvin Stars are not going to go down that easily. And they are going to put up a fight, and they're putting up quite a fight at the moment. That's the Anabush Fighter Rahim as well, gone for six of six. Ravi Chandran Ashwin, next batsman in. That's a good shot, that's a very good shot, that'll be four. That's out at the gap as well, Irfan Patan knows how to bat, so does Ashwin. So Wellington, really, they don't have anything to worry about. If they lose a wicket here, which... No, that's fine. I thought that might travel into the hands of the mid-on, but no, that's gone for four. Six for Ashwin. Ooh, full and wide, Ashwin. There's a go at it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, direct hit, he's gone. Nah, direct hit, he's gone. That's it. Yeah! He is gone. From side on, he smashed it. Oh, it's... It's an important wicket, Ravi Ashwin. They've still got Patane at the other end who knows how to bat as well, but um, Wellington should have won this quite comfortably. Well, Stark knows how to bat as well. I forgot about him. There it is. Very solid hit. And why are they going for the second? Okay, they made it back, but that was because the throw was to the wrong end. Uh, what is the wicket keeper doing? He's just crab walking behind the six. Well, that's foolish. Yeah. Nicks it. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> that's that. Four runs to win, and that will be four. Wellington Firebirds have won by three wickets. Melbourne Stars have lost yet another game. Standing out to be such a poor display from the Melbourne boys, except Colin Munro. Colin Munro did his best, but nobody else supported him, and well, they've lost the game. And honestly, I mean, if you take out Mamada Fees from Wellington's side, Wellington's didn't do all that well either. Here are the highest wicket takers at the moment in the league. Here's the highest run scorers the moment in the league do let me know who do you think is going to be the highest run scorer as well as the highest wicket taker by the end of it here's the table only undefeated side is central stags firebirds right behind them as well as multan and lancashire let me know who do you think is going to finish up four because top four is going to go through the playoffs playoffs is just a regular knockout and uh yeah thank you for watching i hope you liked it if you did do drop a like subscribe you check out my other channels as well and if you're into career modes and stuff like that i'm doing chris gale career mode at the moment and i'll be starting others as well and i have done many others before as well so check those out as well you might enjoy them you never know anyways i'll see you guys in the next video until then have a nice